Everything I do is pretty much like telling a story in a lot of ways. It's not really just art for art's sake anymore. When I first started making more narrative art, I was very self-centered. Something will happen in my life and I'm like, oh, that's a comic. Like my dad says that all the time, that's a comic. So whenever something funny or weird or poignant or interesting happens, I'm always thinking, you know, oh, how could I like draw this? These days, I try to tell other people's stories more. I did a big series uh, recently of people's uh, hashtag me too stories that people submitted to me and I was drawing them based on their words. Using other people's words is something that I really like doing. I can kind of envision what happened to these people using their own words. I can't believe that that stuff happened and it totally is like horrifying and really sad. And I felt like people were kind of being desensitized because there were so many stories that were coming out. So I thought that taking stories and illustrating them would make people look at them and be like, oh, okay. It was just a way to kind of like grab people's attention and make something more visceral than just reading a, a Facebook post or reading an Instagram post. I, from New York and LA, and that's like a big part of who I am. So a lot of that comes through in my art. The boardwalk, at least since I've known it, it's kind of got its own vibe. It's very true to, to its roots. There's a lot of weirdo people, homeless people, skaters, tourists, artists, muscly guys. It's really iconic. So I wanted to kind of make a book that can celebrate that part of LA. It's colorful, it's fun, and I think that kids that aren't from Venice or who've never been to Venice who like live in the middle of the country, like they probably would really like to go to a place like that. I do a lot of pen drawings, I like crayons, I like gouache, any kind of drawing medium. I, I love drawing. Drawing is my first love and I think it's my like it's my main thing. I love trying different papers and stuff. It depends on what I'm using it for. When I paint with gouache, I like it to be super flat and like very like you can't see the brush strokes. I like when the paper is absorbent but not too absorbent and I like when it's thick enough so that it doesn't ripple or get any air bubbles under it because I have it flat against a board like it needs to stay flat. And then like with sketchbooks too, I like to have a variety of media in my sketchbooks and I don't mind if things get too wrinkly. I kind of like when that happens. So like even if the paper isn't made for mixed media, I still paint whatever or draw whatever on a standard spiral round sketchbook and I, I like the way that it feels and the way that it handles. The, the biggest thing that makes me who I am is my art and I think that when you're a little kid and you have that sense of connection and you have that sense of identity that comes from what you're making, you can't ignore that and you can't try to squash it. You have to just keep fostering it. And I think it's really important for kids to have mentors, to have teachers, to have like resources in public schools that allow them to make art, look at art. It gives kids an outlet. It gives kids a sense of confidence. The fact that I had a family and friends and, and a mentor who always fostered that creativity in me. I never ever doubted myself. It's just now starting to happen for me and I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen in the future. I don't think I would be like the artist that I am without that.